Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today to do um, a little craft with me. I thought it would be fun to make one of the uh, flip envelopes that I did, oh gosh, maybe even a year ago now. Uh, the kind that attached to another envelope, a smaller envelope to a, lar uh, a larger envelope, and then they just kind of flip open uh, to use as a tuck spot in a journal. And I thought, oh well, you know what, I'm making some for a couple of journals that I'm working on. Why don't I just turn on the camera and we'll do it together. So, to make these, um, I'm using a 9.5 inch long legal envelope. And then I have a six, just under 6.5 inch long smaller envelope. And all I did was I cut them exactly in half. So this one is cut at... 4.75 so you get one here and one here and this one is cut at 3.25 simple as that so yeah so I'll move these envelopes out of the way and I thought we could just do this together I have my tea with me and I'm playing with um, Nature's Remedies papers that um, Tracy and uh, Artie Mays did together and they're absolutely <laughs> gorgeous like just gorgeous, right up my alley. I love them. So I thought I would use these as the bases for my my little um, flippy envelopes. So did I just? <laughs> what did I do with the other small one? Oh my goodness! I must have thrown it away. There it is. Okay. So this is the first thing I do is I'm just going to take that off and seal the back of those um, and for these I don't you don't have to decorate the back because um, it's going to be attached down on a, in a on a page in a journal so because this is cut from two different sides you see this one's going to open from that side and this one because of the way it's attached will open from that side alrighty I am just going to go ahead and you can see this is an envelope that has um, that has the deep V, so that's no problem. We'll be able to. We'll just cover with paper, but you have to be careful how you glue so that you don't lose the um, real estate of the inside of the envelope. And you also have to be aware of where your top is <laughs> on your on your envelope. So I kind of set it down like that and that way um, I know that I've got it level and it's it's probably hard to see with all that white uh, and then this one will will glue as well we must well do them both at the same time and then I thought I would try and put actually I should probably have cut this before I glued it we'll do it before we put the paper on uh, I thought I would put like a a little window in the um, in the small one for acetate. Actually, I can't do it until after the paper because I want to cut through the paper as well. So make sure I have my punch. I've got a whoops one and a quarter inch punch here. Sorry, just from. Okay, so we'll just cover it with paper. So, um, I am, there's a piece of paper that was really non-directional. This one, because it has things going at all, at all directions. So I think I'll use that one. I'm just looking to see if I have my metal ruler, and I do, apologies for all of the noise. Um, so, I want to see how wide I need to, to uh, tear that. And a pencil, which behind me. Anyway, this is pretty much how I craft. So we're just going to, where did we put that line? Right there. Line that up on the board. 
and yep, that looks like it's straight or thereabouts to being straight. So there's that one, and then we'll do our second one since we're at it. And we'll just line it up with this. This is kind of the way I Kind of the way I craft. Okay, so that's the first piece. And I just want to make sure it's going to be big enough. I think it is. If not, I can always um, patch the front a little bit. So this is this part's kind of is particularly important. I put the glue right here, right along that, just before the crease but not on the crease. And then just glue on here. I'm using art glitter glue. Um, I find it best for this sort of thing. You could definitely, I think you could use a glue stick for sure. You would just have to be very careful about protecting that space there that you don't put any glue in that little open area. So I just go in like so, and then, oh, that's gonna work out perfectly. And like that. So I just fold it trying to make sure it's it's uh, in line with the top and the bottom. And then just glue like so. And then we're just going to fold that little bit over and put a little bit of glue in there. How's everybody doing? We're finally getting some spring weather, <laughs> which is lovely. Okay, so that's the first part. Um, I hope you are well, and I hope you're getting some good weather as well, where you are. Uh, and then let's do this one. I have the camera a little closer today, mostly just because I'm, you know, doing a little craft with me, and I apologize about the me hitting the tripod. I do have to think about a new arrangement so that I could get maybe an overhead, which would be kind of good. Um, camera. So, go like so. You can see I did not do a great job. Well, it's even, it's just a little tall, so I'll, I'll trim that. I like to fold this first and I line it up with the bottom to make sure that we're good to go. The reason I would trim that little bit off the top is that part of the reason, well I mean it's decorative, I'm putting the extra paper on for a decorative uh, feature, but I'm also doing it to create more strength with the paper. And if I don't cut that off, then that's not as strong as the two layers. So I like it to take it down to where the two layers are. Now before I do that, before I glue that down, I'm going to just take my scissors. Let's pull that off. And that's where I want it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on here. And you all have seen me do this before, this particular type of envelope, but it's going to be a little bit different because I am going to put a little window in it. Okay, next I want to put uh, something on the back on this particular uh, envelope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure like so and just going to mark. I'm marking two spots and then I know that my um, that I'm straight. <laughs> or I hope I know I'm straight. Where did I put that? Oh there it is. Okay. Save that paper for something else, and then I think I'll use 
this one. And just put my ruler down and there you go. So we'll use that for something else. Okay. Let us look at covering this. So all I do, once again, that's the top. I'm just going to put glue up this end. Make sure I get as close to the, the outside edges as possible. And then I just do a skiff of glue across, like so. I just to get some glue on the paper, as you do. And then I'll line it up with the bottom, like so. It's not quite to the edge, but that's okay. We're, we'll ink it. I actually could have used, um, it's not interesting, I could have used the same paper for both. I may do that, actually. Waste not. Um, and then I'm just going to put glue here because, as I said before, this is going to be glued into a journal. So we've got our pages, our, our base covered. Oops, I see that I've gone a little bit over back here. All right. So that one is ready, and this one's going to go this way. Do I want to use that? Yeah, why not? So once again, we're going to put our ink, our ink, our glue down, and um, a little skiff on the inside inside but making sure that you've gotten to all of the edges that's the important bit and then I'm going to glue this down perfect and actually you can see where I'm too far over the edge so this is a good time to trim it Turn that other one down a bit. The one I did before, I think it must be a little bit too high. We'll check. And then I'm just going to glue that down. So, isn't that cute? I mean, it's just really cute as it is because those papers are so beautiful. Can I come down a little bit more? Yep, just a touch. Just a hair. Actually, I can feel the side of the envelope with my scissor there. I'm just going to have a quick drink of tea. Pardon me. All right. So, what I thought I'd do, would be fun to do, is if we put a little window in this front one. And the question is, will this fit in there? I don't think it's going to fit in there. So, <laughs> the window might go in the... The bigger one, let's see if we can fit in. And if we can't, then we may have to give up that idea. But, you know, uh, it'll fit in the bigger one. Okay, if I put it, I want to go a little bit over. See, if I go way over the side, I'm going to miss, I'm going to take out that um, lavender, and I don't want to do that. So, so there's where the window's going to go. And this one, I can maybe get closer to this side, we'll see. It would have been too finicky to try and put the hole in the envelope first and then try and match the paper over that hole. That would have been really finicky. Okay. There we go. I just think it would be kind of cool. It's just a neat added touch. Something you don't have to do, but you know, why not? 
Now, where did I? Oh, okay. I have this clear washi. And I got it, um, I think I got it at Bella's Bits and Buys some time ago. Uh, and she's on Etsy. I'm just going to grab it. These images. So it's on, it's a sticker, of course. It's washes, so you can pull it off the back. But I don't want to do that because I'm going to be um, sticking it in, and I don't want it to be sticky against the back the background. Okay, that's going to go like so. There. I think that's going to be kind of cute. So, I'm going to keep a hold of this top because I'm, um, and I'm just judging uh, how far to go, but I'm keeping a hold of the top bit because I can cut that off later. And let's just get this in here. So what we want to make sure we do is have it so that it's glued all the way around and to all edges so that whatever you do put in there doesn't get caught up. Um, and you could, I suppose you could ink the hole beforehand if that was something you wanted to do. I'm, I do a bit of inking these days, but not nearly as much as I used to. So I love that with this botanical stuff. I just think that is so pretty. Uh, and then this one, just looking for the right orientation. Okay. Am I going to, yeah, I'm going to use this one. So this one I'm going to have to go all the way down to the bottom because I know that I want mostly that image in the front. We we'll just trial and error these things, guys. And then put it in there like so. Wipe off that glue. Put my fingers inside. And make sure it's down there flat. And I like that. I just think it's it just adds a, an extra little feature. Okay, <laughs> we're cooking. We're cooking. All right. Let's see. What do we want to put on the front? I really love. The, um, the look of these backgrounds. I don't know that I want to put anything on them. I might put a label inside there. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I, I think it would be fun to put a botanical or something here in the front. I like to put a little bit of, a little bit of green. So this is pa painter's masking paper. You've all seen me use that before. And I bought mine on Amazon. So I don't know if you can still get it um, right now, but um, if not, you, you will eventually be able to get to get it, I think. So I'm just going to rip the bottom off a bit and then stick that there. I think that'll look really cute. I wasn't sure what I was going to use to embellish. I've got all kinds of things here. Um, next to me. So these are from a botanical book. If I remember I'll put the name down below. like that a lot. I wondered about putting a divot but because that is there. Do I want to put the divot? Do you think I could manage to get the divot below it? Oh! Playing with fire. I'm playing with fire. Actually let's use this. Let's just, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be, have some precision right there with the pencil. That should be the center of where I do my divot. So it's not going to be necessarily centered um, There we go. Let's see, how do we do? Look at that. That's wild. Come on. <laughs> I don't think I could do that again if I tried. <laughs> oh 
my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, that's one. <laughs> I should not sound so pleased with myself. That's not right, is it? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh gosh, that's pretty. That's super pretty. So we could put a little green maybe. Over on this side. Let's do that. I'm excited to try that uh, divot again. Ah, what are the chances? Probably not great. Well, I suppose, you know, marking it makes it that much easier, right? Like it, we, we can do it. We can do it. I think this was a, a flower that was gifted to me by Christine. Hi, Christine. Um, when she sent me all kinds of things that she had fussy cut. Oh, what an awesome gift. Fussy cutting. I don't mind fussy cutting, but I have arthritis in my uh, right hand, and I'm right-handed. And I gotta tell you, fussy cutting. After you've done it for a while, you really, you really feel it. So I'm trying to where I think the center of that might be. Okay. There's a certain amount of eyeballing that's going on with this, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to. Cut that out. Oh, that is awesome. Can you see that? It's just underneath where that window is. Like, seriously, I did not plan for that, but that is just a lovely, lovely surprise. So I am going to ink around. I'm not going to put a divot in the top because we've got those windows there and they're, um, I think it would be uh, hard on the eye to have a divot over here and a window right there. Your eye needs to know where to rest. So uh, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> so, and I do ink the back of this as well. Super cute. Wow, I'm super happy with these. I think I'll be making some more of these today. Yep, for sure. Just do a little ink around the outside. That just kind of finishes it off and I just do a, a little bit of ink. And you can see where that covered up that boo-boo where I didn't get right into the corner. So there's that one. Some time we can do, put a little label on. Those papers are beautiful, Andrea and um, Trace. They're just super, super pretty. Um, I absolutely love them. What's fun with this is you get two really interesting embellishments from two um, pieces of their paper and from two envelopes, like a legal and a smaller envelope, each cut in half. We were able to get two really fun embellishments. Uh, and these really do add interest to a journal, I think. Okay, so we've got those. Gosh, those are cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Now, I have, of course, my favorites, my Tracy Fox number labels, and I've got my Tracy Fox botanical labels as well. I don't think I'm going to need scissors right now. And I think it would be fun. I like leaving this one blank so that you can kind of write on it. Um, but I like the idea of putting a label right there. I don't think it needs anything else, to be honest. There's so much prettiness with that paper, I don't really want to cover it up. So, I'm going to put pollinate down here. Lovely. And then on this one, I'm going to put stem, which is really lovely too. I don't know what I do without these labels. I use them so often. So there's that. I like that a lot. 
Um, I have some washi with numbers. People have asked me about this. I got this. I got this some time ago on AliExpress. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can still get it. I'm sure you can. Uh, and I would just, I have no idea from whom I purchased it, but um, I would just um, maybe uh, search for number washi. I like using that. It just adds a little bit of interest. I'll cut that extra bit off at the top. And we'll put a piece on here. How much time do we have? I wonder if I have time to um, like this and one. I wonder if I have time to do a little card to set in here. Let me just see. There's a 51 there. That's kind of fun. Just set that there. I think that's really cool. Okay, let's just see if this film goes out. I apologize because sometimes I think I only get about. I think I only get about um, 30 minutes. So this is. I think these are meant to be folded in half to make little booklets. But we could make um, a really nice uh, journal card with them. So I'm just gonna cut those out. First, uh, and then I've got, let me see, I've got some craft paper. And I think all I would do is just glue it on. I can see through the back, I don't know if you can see through the back of this page, that I'm getting to the edges. You gotta work fast because we're dealing with um, our glitter glue. And then I'm going to put that up on the edge. There we go. Set these little bits aside. So the question will be will they fit? I'm pretty sure they will fit into the back one. Yeah. Might even fit into the front one. I don't know. Okay. And then I will cut them out. So when I glue these, I try to go just inside the uh, the um, image, so that I'm not cutting with my scissors through glue. Um, I'm not always successful with that, but that's certainly the goal. <laughs> and. See, I think this one needs a little bit of a trim. Okay. So, that would go in the back. And I would probably put a wee tab on it, but I think it's really cute with the... Uh, actually, I think I'll put this one because there's some color on it on here. Because the plant I put in there is mostly green. making sure my envelope opens. There we go. So I would go all the way down there. And then this one, because it has an opening there, that would go there. So that's it. I would put um, probably, just another sip. I would sew around those. And then I would probably put a tab on the top. Uh, but I see that we're just about, well, let's just see. Let's see if we have enough time. <laughs> pushing it. I'm pushing it. I'm going to use my whale's tail punch. And like so. I see I didn't put the cover on my glue. So I would normally ink around this first, but in the interest of time. And you don't have to uh, do that, but I just think it would be nice to have a little tab at the top. 
and I just try and eyeball the center of it. There. So that's that one. And then this one. Just to put the glue on. And I would sew around that. I would ink around it a little bit and sew around it. And there you go. We've got both of our little flip outs uh, where we've played with the beautiful Nature's Remedies kits. And we managed to get a little card in there as well. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope we didn't bore you to tears. Um, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.